I read a post by an author the other day, and he put the, a lot of emphasis on knowing self before knowing God. In fact, he said, you can't know God until you know yourself. I really disagree with that. In fact, I think it's the exact opposite. I think we have to know God before we can know ourselves. And Psalm 139 tells us why. If you go to that Psalm, it tells us God created us. He is who tells us who we are and what we are, right? And his word tells us that. It shows us who we are. Just like in the Old Testament, the law showed the Israelites their sin, that they were sinners. And whose standard are we using when we tell ourselves who we are? Are we using our own standard? Are we using the enemy standard? God is the only one who gives us our identity. Without God, we cannot make sense of ourselves. He tells us who we are in his word. His word shows us who we are according to our flesh. He shows us that we're sinners. He shows us what we're prone to. We're prone to anger. We're prone to um, sinful desires and selfishness, jealousy, greed, bitterness, unforgiveness, right? And he also shows us in our new nature in Christ what we are prone to. We're prone to love, to have compassion, to be generous, to show hospitality. He created us. So who knows us better than him? Nobody. He knows us better than we know ourselves. He knows the number of hairs on our head, right? Who can say that? He knows things about us that we may never know this side of heaven. You know, he has plans for our life. In the book of James, it tells us to look into the mirror of God's word. The Bible is a mirror. And when we look into that mirror, we see ourselves for who we really are and what we really are. You know, the author of that book that I was reading, it brought up how, you know, David was, um, uh, a man who had to know himself before he could know God. But what does the Bible say? The Bible says that David was a man after God's own heart, not after David's heart. David sought the Lord and the Lord showed David who he was. Solomon is another example. Solomon spent a lifetime of self-discovery. And in the end, he ended up empty-handed. Read the book of Ecclesiastes. What does it say? You know, when we try to make sense of the world through ourselves, or when we try to make sense of ourselves through the world, it's all vain. It's vanity. It's chasing after the wind. The only way to find out who we are and what our purpose is, is to seek and discover God. Don't be fooled by the feel-good so-called theology. Seek truth. Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. Don't seek yourself. Seek God. Turn to him and ask him to show you who you are in light of his truth. 